Welcome to zipline.com. This video tutuloy natin yung ating series about uh, domain and range. No? And uh, dito sa video na ito, pag-uusapan natin yung domain and range ng uh, absolute value functions. No? So, sabi natin sa previous video, yung absolute value function, ginagawa niyang positive yung negative. No? Pag nasa loob siya ng sign, for example, uh, negative 5, magiging positive 5 siya. Tapos pag positive siya, tsaka 0, hindi niya na binabago yung value, no? So, ibig sabihin, yung absolute value of a certain number is either a positive number or zero, no? So, here, yung domain natin, with this definition, yung domain natin, um, sabi natin yung domain are the, or is the set of uh, values of x that will make the function defined, no? Um, kahit ano naman lagay natin dito, ba defined naman yung ating f of x. So, it's either positive, negative, or zero. Wala tayong problema. So, any, any x, no? Any, any number. So, ibig sabihin, yung domain natin is negative infinity up to infinity. So, any real number yan, ibig sabihin. Now, for the range, sabi natin zero yung uh, nasa loob ng absolute value. Tama ba? May zero ba tayo dito? Yes, no? If we let x be equal to negative 5, then negative 5 plus 5 is 0, and the absolute value of 0 is 0. Meaning, ang pinakamaliit na value nito, nung part na ito, ay 0. So, that's greater than or equal to 0. Kasi, pag, syempre, pag hindi na 0 dito, mas malaki na yung value niya. Kasi, 5, 5 plus 5, 10 na siya. So, pataas na siya, no? And, 0 yung pinakamababa niya, no? Kasi, syempre, pag nasa loob nito, gagawin niyang positive yung all other numbers, no? negative man yan o positive. However, yung zero na yan, meron pa tayong plus 3 dito, meaning the entire value, the minimum is 3. No? So from 3 up to infinity, yung ating, ang value nito, no? yun, di ba yung value ng f of x natin, kung ano may makukuha natin dito, yun yung range natin, no? the set of y values. No? Meaning this is, the range is from 3 up to infinity. Okay, so, uh, sa dito, g of x, uh, ano ba yung possible values of x na pwede natin lagay? Yun yung domain natin, di ba? Again, it's still from negative infinity to infinity, di ba? Kasi wala naman tayong pwedeng ilagay dito na mag undefined yung ating g of x. Next, we have, um, uh, although na, Positive yun nandito, pero dahil may minus tayo dito, magiging negative siya, di ba? Pag mas malaki ito. So, I think one way of of uh, writing this na mas madaling maintindihan is negative. Madali natin makuha is negative 2x plus 4, no? So, ibig sabihin, itong number na to, itong number na to, itong number na to, it's either 0 or negative, di ba? Also, zero or positive, kaso may minus ka, kaya yung number na to is either zero or negative. Diba? So, number na yan. That's zero or negative, meaning less than or equal to zero. Zero yung pinakamababa mo, diba? It's either less than zero siya or equal to zero. Kaso may plus four ka dito, so less than or equal to four. So, less than the entire, the entire um, expression is less than or equal, the value of the entire expression is less than or equal to 4. Meaning, kung meron kang number line dito, ito yung 4 uh, mo, lahat ng numbers na nasa kaliwa, no? lahat na nandito, less than or equal to 4. Meaning, from negative infinity up to 4, yun yung ating range. no? So, range is from negative infinity up to 4. Kasama yung 4, no? Kasi meron siyang equal. Pag hindi kasama yung 4, uh, parenthesis yan. Tapos bilog dito na walang kulay. Next. Dito, lagi natin i-check kung 0 kung, uh, ba yung posible ba magkakaroon ng 0. Paano natin ilalagay dito na maging 0? No? Square root of 3 squared. No? Pero basta pag may negative ka dito, kahit, dahil yung number naman to, Pwede ka magkaroon ng negative 3 dito, di ba? So, pag negative 3 square mo yan, magiging negative 3 plus 3. Magiging 0 pa rin, no? So, yun ang pinaka... Uh, 
minimum value, no? Kasi pag nilakihan mo na to, pari negative 100 na yan, o, o negative 10, negative 10 squared is negative 100, negative 100 is 97, 97 na to, malaki na siya. So, pwedeng 0 ang pinakamali, tapos lumalaki siya. Pero, meron kang minus 4, no? So, pag ang 0 ang pinakamaliit mo, tapos nag-minus 4 ka, diba? Negative 4 yung pinakamaliit mo. So, ang range mo ay, nuna natin yung range, no? Yung range mo ay negative 4. Uh, negative 4 infinity, no? And yung domain mo, ganun pa rin. Kahit ano naman yung lagay natin dito, hindi naman tayo ma-undefined. So, from negative infinity up to infinity. Okay, gusto nyo tignan yung graphs ng mga to? Tignan natin, i-verify natin kung tama ba yung mga sagot natin. So, number one is square of, um, squared. f of x equals Ito, banda para nakita ko. f of x f of x is equal to absolute value of x plus 5 plus 3. Okay. So, hindi nyo nakikita yung ibang part ng window kasi maliit lang itong ating uh, video, no? Problema kasi pag malaki masyadong, ano, masyado siyang mabigat, malaki yung space na kailangan niya, magiging malaki yung file. So, mahirap siyang panoorin sa YouTube, no? Now, kung, mapap kung mapapansin nyo dito, sorry, kung mapapansin nyo dito yung ating domain, di ba sabi natin yung domain natin, lahat ng function kanina from negative infinity, no? Ang domain, pag in-interpret natin sa graph, dito yung mga x-coordinates ng mga points dun sa graph. So, for example, this point, ang x-coordinate na yan. Ang x-coordinate na ito ay ito, negative 8, ang x-coordinate na negative 5, and so on. So, since pataas ito, tapos pataas din ito, this goes to the left, this goes to the right, indefinitely. Meaning, ito yung mga range, lahat ng numbers, sorry, ito yung mga domain, lahat ng numbers dito. Meaning, from negative infinity to infinity, which is, andito, no? From negative infinity to infinity. I think, natatandaan nyo naman yan kasi, lahat naman negative infinity to infinity yung domain natin dito sa tatlong functions na diniscuss natin. Now, for the second function, we have, Tagalin muna natin to. 4 minus 2x, no? 4 minus absolute value of 2x. G of x is equal to 4 minus absolute value of 2x. Okay? So, again, from negative infinity to infinity yung kanyang domain. Kasi nga, kita nyo naman, di ba? Siyempre po. Palaki siya ng palaki, no? Go, goes to the left, goes to the right. Siyempre may x-coordinates pa rin naman yan, lahat ng mga points dito. So from negative infinity to infinity. Pero kung titignan mo yung range natin, pag range naman tinignan mo, yung y naman. So ang pinakamataas niya na ay 4. So from negative infinity to 4 siya. Dititignan natin yung mga y-coordinates ng mga points na yan. So from negative infinity to 4, kasama yung 4 which is, yan negative infinity to 4. And for the third and last function, we have uh, h of x. Hmm. h of x equals negative x squared plus 3. Wala pa ba tayong kalugtong dyan? Minus 4. Minus, minus 4. Okay? So, let's check the graph. Tanggalin natin to. Yung domain is still negative infinity to infinity. The range is from negative 4 pataas. No? Kasi yung titignan natin, again, again, ang again sinasabi ko, the range is a set of y coordinates of the points of the graph. No? So, from here, syempre pataas, may y-coordinate yan. Pero ang pinaka-minimum mo ay 4. Meaning, from negative 4 to infinity yung, yung range. It's from negative 4 to infinity.
Okay? So, I hope meron kayo natutunan din sa video na ito. Uh, uh, gusto ko yung invite sa ating uh, website, sipnayan.com. At kung kayo nanonood sa YouTube, uh, manood kayo ng uh, Sipnayan YouTube channel. We have more than 700 videos already uploaded. Okay? Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.